One way to know that it's uh, actually on is by going to your thermostat. It should indicate uh, emergency heat with a red light or auxiliary heat should be on the digital version. Uh, if you have an old school thermostat, you see the auxiliary or emergency heat light on. Um, There's one way to find out. Um, another thing to do, which I would recommend, is to get the unit maintenance before it really starts the heating season. Uh, that way, because some people can get surprised that their heat or their AC is running with the strip heat and there's some kind of malfunction. It's working correctly, you're comfortable, but the power bill comes in, it's, you know, four or five, six hundred bucks. You're like, what in the world is going on? So I would uh, get a maintenance done before the heating season, uh, just like before the cooling season. Get it checked out to make sure everything's working properly and make sure everything's good to go because you don't want to, you know, in the month get that large bill uh, where it's been kind of mild, but the heat strips have been operating with the cooling or the heating and you didn't know about it and you're stuck with a $500 bill. So that's one thing I would recommend. I would also, uh, you know, when your system is running, just kind of go by the thermostat, look at it, make sure auxiliary or emergency heat is not on. Uh, one thing I do at my house myself is when it gets starts eating really cold outside I do have a set point of like 68 or whatever so maybe in the morning when I get up the emergency heat might be on so I kind of kind of bump it down and turn it off because I'm fixed to take a shower and I'm fixed to get hot and it's fixing you know I don't need it at that point um, that's just something I do <laughs> I'm kind of paranoid about keeping that emergency heat off uh, whenever is possible. Now, if it's 20 degrees outside and I want to be comfortable, you know, it's going to run. So, uh, that is the tip I will give you.